but we want to bring you other news now in News Just In. Former Bank of Athens treasurer Vincento, uh, Vincenzo Pietro Paolo has been handed a uh, number of jail sentences. In fact, he's been handed two life sentences, all right? That is the correct figure. In November, the High Court in Johannesburg found Pietro Paolo guilty of killing his father and his wife in 2017. ENCA's Heidi Jokos is following those developments and joins us now for an update. And Heidi, two life sentences to run concurrently. Yes, um, most certainly. So we do know that um, the Johannesburg High Court has just handed down judgments. Uh, we know it's two life sentences. Um, uh, Vincenzo Pitla Paolo has been um, handed down two life sentences for killing his father in 2017. And eight months later, uh, he murdered his wife, his estranged wife, uh, outside their home. Uh, a number of other sentences have also been handed down. He has been sentenced to 15 years for being in the position of firearm without licenses, five years for being in the position of ammunition without a license, three years for firing an unlicensed firearm, and another three years for attempting to defeat the ends of justice. And this will also run concurrently. Of course, um, his legal team, which he changed a number of times, had requested for a lenient uh, sentence because of his age. We do understand that he's 63 years old, uh, but the judge, Tulas, I must add, uh, was scathing in his judgment. He called uh, Vicenzo Petrapaolo, a pathological liar. He called him uh, evil. He said um, what he did was completely cruel. Uh, and uh, the judge also adding that uh, Vincenzo Petrapaolo, who was the former treasurer of the Bank of Athens, was a highly educated man. And he failed to take the court into his confidence to understand what uh, was the motive behind the killing. He, of course, killed his father in his sleep. And the police had initially thought that this was a botched um, a robbery that had gone wrong but then when he murdered his wife he shot his wife nine times at the entrance of the house that they used to share uh, he had been roaming around the vicinity for some time and had waited for her to be alone before he rocked up at the house uh, entered the premises and then shot her nine times so uh, this is of course a massive um, relief for the family they have been waiting since 2017 um, for this case to um, conclude it's been a long journey and of course Vincent Vincenzo Petrapaolo had uh, many times attempted to stall this case, to stall the trial. He initially admitted to the killing, says he was provoked by an emotional storm. Later on, he withdrew and said that um, his lawyer misled him. Uh, so uh, this case has finally concluded and he has been handed down two life sentences. So the judge in that particular case not failing to show society's abhorrence of the um, actions of Vincenzo Pietro Paolo. Um, and Heidi, it, it would seem then that none of his um, arguments for a lenient sentence um, held any water with the judge. Most certainly uh, not to less. And the judge actually explaining that very clearly in court um, relating to a number of court cases, previous court cases, where um, there was some kind of lenience that was shown uh, given the circumstances. But what stood out the most uh, for the judge indicating that uh, Vincenzo Pietrapalo on a number of occasions failed to take the court into um, his confidence, failed to explain what exactly transpired and constantly reneged on initial statements and affidavits expressing what initially happened. He first said that he did not kill his father. He had no understanding or recollection of what happened. He, just like the rest of the family, thought it was a robbery that went wrong. But when police further investigated, they realized it was the same firearm that he actually stole from his father's safe to use to kill his father in his sleep and muffle the gunshots and then use that same gun to um, shoot his wife uh, nine months, uh, eight months later, rather. So uh, the judge saying that uh, there was no remorse that was shown. There was actually zero remorse. He initially said he was provoked by an emotional storm, and that's why he shot his wife. Um, he had no intention of harming her. And then later on, he said he didn't do that. And the judge saying um, that the court is mature enough to realize that um, the, um, the victim, which was his estranged wife, did not shoot herself nine times. And it clearly shows that she did not do that. So uh, there was no leniency from the uh, Johannesburg High Court because um, there, there's clear evidence 
evidence to prove that uh, Vincenzo Petrapaolo uh, murdered both and it was premeditated. All right, thank you for that. That's ENCA's Heidi Jokos tracking that story there for us. Uh, a story where, you know, Vincenzo Petropaolo has been sentenced to two life sentences to run concurrently as well as a number of other terms of imprisonment for other crimes uh, with which he was charged.